All right, so here we are. Lobster day. Lobster taco day. It's great. Uh, you can go about uh, 50 miles south of San Diego. Is that right? Yeah. Maybe 30 miles south of San Diego, Mexico, uh, to a little place called Puerto Nuevo. And Puerto Nuevo is known for lobster shacks. The big thing there, pretty much every restaurant, there's about 18, 20 of them. You sit down, you order lobster, they bring you a lobster, and they bring you fresh tortillas, fresh rice, and fresh beans, and you make a big burrito out of it, melted butter. It's amazing. That's how we're going to make these today, because we're going to make little tacos out of them. They're really nice. good. And when we make tacos here, we've done it a bunch of times on the show, we make soft tacos. I'm not the crunchy shell guy. I don't know where they are in this country. You know, I... Where are they? Where do they do this here? Uh, Taco Bell. Taco I know, Bell, I know when we yeah. go to Mexico, there's no... There's like, not a whole lot. It doesn't really shows. exist, yeah. right? Okay, so first things first. I got the rice is going, the beans are going. I need to get the lobster happening. So this is a pretty simple process. You've got to get the, the lobster out of the shell. So here's what I do. I take a pair of scissors and I just cut right up the back like that. Take a knife. Cut down. And then there you got two sides. Wow. And then thumb in. And then right. Let's go, lad. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful lobster meat, right? Nice. Except I feel like I got a little crunchy shell here that I didn't want. So this guy will come out. It's always easier going in from the back side. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Look at and then those. you've got that nice shell, right? So, by the way, if this is the first time you've watched the live cast and you missed what we did with the lobster tails once before, this is a thing that I like to cook them when they go in the grill. I do this. I just cut. Okay, do that. Same thing. Thing all the way down. Cut down. You're cutting down to basically like this breastplate. Don't cut through it. Leave it there. So you've cut through. Then just take them, split them open. And now I like to cook them just like this. I butter this, herb it up, whatever. I go face down on the grill outside, flip it over, do face down on there, and then it's fine. There's the picture of them. Look at That was butter, ginger, garlic, seasoning. So delicious, right? Yum. So a little different today because we're gonna take the we're gonna take the lobster meat out of this. And this guy's not, of course, this guy is not gonna cooperate with me. <laughs> come on, baby, come on. Don't leave me hanging here. I mean, you're all gonna get chopped up, so. So what's interesting is I think the one on the right. Yeah. was cooked a little bit, right? No. No? Here's what it is. What influences lobster color, yeah. same with some shrimp and stuff, is what their diet is. Oh. And I learned that from my friend Rudy. He's still across the street. Something's struggling like, like hell here. Here we go. I always okay. thought it was easier to rip out lobster meat when it's like not cooked, but like barely, you know? See, like I hate to leave this in. No, but this stuff... This stuff here is this, look at, completely raw lobster meat. Huh. There's nothing there, right? So, put this guy over here. I'm rinse my hands for a sec. Turn a little bit of heat on under this. Heat's on under my griddle for me to warm up the tortillas. Now here we go. So, little pieces, right? Like this, right? Just so, just little bites. You wanna make little bite-sized pieces. I mean, like, try and think of what, what it's going to be like when you go to eat something. Don't give people giant hunks of something that they have to suffer and work their way through. Let them just take bites that don't get stuck in their mouth and get stuck in the tortilla and stuff like that. So we'll just do this. This guy's nice. And then this guy here. I can't wait, dude. I can't wait either. And I'm telling you, the key to this whole thing, dude, is a drizzle of melted butter over the top. A drizzle of Jeez. melted butter. Stop, stop it. Just wait, just wait. And I, I, here's what I've got. I've got a little butter here that's now gonna go into the microwave. I go like 30% power, because I'm gonna forget that it's in here. Power, 30, uh, one minute. Look, there's little simple things that you can do in your food world to make things way better. Ready for a tip? Here's one of them. We Olive. Weolive.com will get you to a place where you can get only California certified extra virgin olive oil. You know, the whole olive oil world, especially the extra virgin stuff, 
gets very sketchy. You can be buying things that are mixes of all kinds of stuff. California certified extra virgin olive oil only at We All Love. It's amazing. You can go online, weallove.com, check out all their stuff. If you put Sam in at the little checkout box, you'll get 10% off your order. Or even better, go to a store, have them turn you on to what great olive oil tastes like. You'll be so glad you did it. Weallove.com, tell them I sent you. Okay, well, that'd actually be meaningless, but put my name in the box and you'll get 10% off. It's all good. Weallove.com, check them out. See what happens. Okay, we'll let that happen. This is getting hot. So two things. It's uh, I'm going to cook this in a little bit of olive oil, tiny little butter at the end, and I give it Old Bay because that's one of my favorite things. Old Bay and shrimp, Old Bay and lobster. It's a perfect match. Old Bay and crab. Getting hot. Smoking here. Remember, non-stick. Sorry, uh, carbon steel flat bottom wok. No oil in it first. Let it get hot. Let it get super hot. Then put in whatever kind of fat you're using, if it's butter, if it's oil, or something like that. All right. That's great. Right. It's almost there. Fan goes on. This is good. Tortillas at the ready. I can get ready to throw a couple of these guys on. Season with just this. There's enough salt in here. We'll use a little bit of hot sauce after. What oil is goes in. Old Bay, by the way. What is what? What is Old Bay? Oh, it's like a. Uh, it's like a. Oh, hold on. Let's just put the lobster in. It's a seasoning mix. Come on, Maxie. Ready? Nice. Uh, uh, don't like sticky hands when I cook. Got to dry them really fast. Got to get. Oh, where's my spatula? Shoot. Oh, it's right here. I'll use this. It's already turning white. You can see that, right? Yeah. Old day. It's like a uh, seasoning salt, but what's what's in it? Yeah, where are the ingredients? Old days, uh, some crab cakes. I'll look in a second. A couple tortillas on here. That's nice and hot. And I got these really good, the little guys. These nice little handmade uh, flour ones. And these delicious with this. Okay, that was really fast. That was fast. Okay, a little bit more oil, tiny bit. You know butter burns, I'll just give it a tiny little bit of butter right at the end. A couple pieces I wish I'd cut a little bit smaller. We'll be okay. We're doing fine, we're doing fine. Took a little butter in like that. Try one little tiny piece, see how we're doing. Oh, I dropped oh, no. it. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Lobster down. Hold on, lobster down. Oh my God. Okay, this is like so close. Except I'm now obsessing over a couple pieces that I wish I'd made smaller. <laughs> I'll just cut them right now. Why do I have to be so anal like this? I hate myself sometimes. <laughs> it makes for good food and TV. No, it makes for something. I don't know <laughs> what. But. All right. This is done. Lobster's done. Here we go. Stop that, right? Tortilla's done. I'll just I only need one. Turn that off. Where are we going? I build it right here, Maxie. So here's the key to this. First thing down, refried beans. I love this. This is exactly how I would have it down there, exactly. Refried beans. Next. A little bit of this rice. The days of expensive, time-consuming website creation people are over. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that is? That's a Squarespace. That's where you need to go. Squarespace.com. They will make your websites not just beautiful, but in a ridiculously 
financially affordable way. Does that even make sense? Financially affordable? I think it does. Check them out. Squarespace.com. You don't believe me? They're doing my website. Where do you see it? We blow your mind. Blow your mind. And this is cool. If you put my name, Sam, in the promo box at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order. You got to like that. Let that finish off. Little Mexican rice package, right? And we're not reinventing the wheel. I mean, if you got a thing, you got your own style for Mexican rice. Ladies and gentlemen, and God bless you. And I want you to make that. But if you don't, buy the package rice. Wow. Yum. Okay, a couple more pieces there. We, go. we don't want it to be a shitty one. We want it to be a good one. Nail this. Butter here. Tiny bit of... Just a little hot sauce. Spoon. Let's get those scissors out of there. And this is, this is really, like, important. I'm just telling you, it's the butter that adds so much, just a little last minute flavor here to this thing. How's that look, Maxie? It's pretty darn good. Does that look beautiful? Should we have a bite? Let's see how we did. Mm-mm. <laughs> Speechless. I got nothing, man. <laughs> I got nothing. You know how easy it is to buy lobster tails at the store? So simple. If you're on the East Coast, just reach into the freaking ocean and grab one and pull it up. <laughs> Kramer did it. Remember that Seinfeld? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was really good. All right. It's rude for me to stand here and eat this. So just let me say, 300th episode week continues. Woo. Friday, something special again. Tonight, Master Chef. Lynn, what can we expect tonight? More fun, more sweating, more excitement? Mm, Looking forward to, to it all. We love it. <laughs> tune in and find out. It's going to be a good night. Don't give it anything away. Nope, nothing. Okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we love the fact that you're here hanging out with us. Please, please make these. Please. See you Friday.